Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Warbra. This is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. And this is a nice... Oh, the crab ran away from me. Why would you run away from Garmin, of all people? I still can't go over how pretty this place is. I really can't. I haven't really figured out, like, how to, um... <laughs> look up the pictures that he showed us. Uh, it is kind of like a silly Calvin moment, for sure. Um, but I'm sure we can, like, uh fiddle around a bit while we're trying to get rid of all these red markers as well. Yes, we're gonna try and get rid of the red markers, because I kind of realized that, like, you know, it's a minor thing I could do to make it more of an enjoyable experience for the people watching. So if I if I don't do it perfectly, then, you know, that's just what we'll do. So first of all, though, we're gonna be doing some commissions. We're still not in Liu Harbor. We're still not. I imagine we're probably gonna get there at some point today, but I don't want to promise anything because... The way things go with me, you know, you know me. Um, so here we have this, which is, I don't understand it very much so, um, yet. I don't understand it, but again, this is also a permanent mission that you can do. Um, Lynette. So, you can invite Lynette over and just get Lynette, is that what you can do? Because people are saying that, like, you know, you just get, I, I don't... Oh! Pleased to make your acquaintance. So we just get Nil Lynette. Magic assistant. And if you have work-related inquiries, please ask Lenny. If you have questions related to seeing a magic show, please ask the ticket office. She's a magician. Actually, very, very cool outfit. Very cool outfit. And we get... Okay, so we got Lynette. I never want the magic performances to end. If only the pigeons, balloons, and all the manner of strange objects could fly out of my hat. Uh, without ever stopping. That would be perfect. That would be a performance of magical power, not magic tricks. Lynette takes a sip of tea... Though, if you really want, I could continuously create pigeons and balloons for you. It's not uh, its not like it's hard. Okay, cool. So, we got a new character. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, then, over here, we just got to claim our stuff again. Um, okay, I think we got rid of quite a bit of the red markerness that's up on top there. Um, I did a little bit of it off camera. Okay, so we have to find out where... I wonder if it's in items. Like where the picture is that he gave us. So we have character development items. Would it be, no, it wouldn't be here. That's, that's a different thing. That's a different thing altogether. Quest item, there we go. Um, here's the pictures that he drew. So the first one is up there. Oh, we can get to that. We can get, to, in fact, we'll go there right now. It's like that mountain peak over there. Look at that, we can get to that. Easy. Music's fantastic here as well. I also want to say thank you so much for people that, like, like, the last episode had so many people just, like, uh, letting me know how, uh, well, the two episodes ago, I should say, so many people just letting me know how to properly use Nadia. Um, what is this? Korok thing. Um, oh my god. Don't compare it to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> um, it just reminds me of, like, no, it's more like Irish, actually. It's like a four-leaf clover, like a luck thing. Um, yeah, no, so many people helped me out with the Nadia situation, Nahida situation, oh my god. <laughs> um, you know what's kind of funny is, like, I think a lot of people who, um, have s supported me for a while, you know, or, like, like, thought that I was doing the, the, the Nahi, the Nadia thing on purpose, we're gonna die if you go across this way, thought I was doing the Nadia thing on, uh, Nahida thing on purpose, um, I was just dumb. <laughs> there is that. That's all I can say. I was just being dumb, um, and I wish it was like a, a situation where, um, like, I was being funny. I I don't know why. I oh, here's his, his books and stuff. I don't know why. Right here we are. This should be the spot we use to see in the painting. Hmm, it's actually a nice spot. Oh, here's maybe this your arts place. We have one of his arts plays. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. With the Nahida thing, I literally just like, I don't know why I, 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 I thought not Nadia. Nahi, Nadia. Nadida. Nadida. Nadia. You know? And it was just me being dumb. Like, there's no, there's no, like, how do I say it? There was no, like, oh, you know, he's being funny. You know, it was, it was literally just, I, I appreciate as well the people who were like, no, no, you don't understand. No, he's, he's just being funny, you know, because I think they were used to me doing the smoothie thing. And the Bagaru thing in Danganronpa. Um, no knowledge. Like, like, literally just did not, just said the name wrong. Uh, yeah, so thanks for the tips on how to use her move. Basically, like, the base, most basic explanation I saw, and there was a lot of explanations of Nahida's moves, 
where basically that like it, when that big uh, bird cage is above us, we basically just do more damage with our elements. And maybe that's like a more basic explanation that's needed than than it's needed, but like I actually, you know, appreciate that kind of like basic explanation. Um, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are saying that use a water character maybe might be better in this team because she reacts really well with uh, like water. So maybe like replacing Gamin or Bennett. Um, right now we're going to keep the same team, but I think that like maybe we might look at ascending or building up a water character as well. Because I think that, oh, look at that, look at that move there. And also people were telling me as well, and I, I'm starting off this video just by thanking people because again, it's 100% fine with me that like this is a community-based playthrough in a way. Um, his move, this move here like this, that we do like the, the, the triangular move that we do, we should not switch away from it when we uh, do it. It's so basically like, I'm thinking if we're using this team, the best thing we can do is do a this, like a hold hand psychotic move. Do the Bennett move, right? Then do a razor move. And then when they're electrocuted at the end of the razor move, do the Gaumann special move. If we ever have that, that seems like the best option. So is it up here we're climbing up? It's It actually probably is up on this mountain on top of here. Because it was looking down over this way. Yeah, let's try this way. Man, that's a really cool mission, by the way. That's the type of stuff I love. Uh, when I was playing Shenmue uh, for the first time, like, I love the idea that characters would be like, hey, you know, go to the the, the forklift area at 2 p.m. And you actually had to go there at 2 p.m. Like, they wouldn't just give you, like, a quest. Which, well, by the way, quest markers, nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes when we're doing, like, little things. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. Hell, man. Absolutely beautiful. Um, sometimes when you're doing quest markers, or when you're doing quests, it's nice to have quest markers. Okay, can we see books around here? Or maybe they're over, maybe they are over there. Let's take a look at the, the picture one more time. So, the pictures here looked... No, it was very close. It was very close. I think it is maybe right there, maybe? It was very close to the water, the drawing. Yeah. Let's take a look. Let's check a look. But I love these type of missions. Like, I actually was very worried about, like, the idea of them not giving us a quest marker for it. But it actually, like, has, has grown on me quite a bit. But yeah, we'll, also, we will look at a water character this episode and maybe trying to level up a water character as well. Because that's the one thing we don't have. Because uh, we have Kaya as an ice uh, character. Um... So, I so there is that. So it's not there. It was very close though. No, that's not it. Like, here? No? There? Maybe that on that mountain top? Maybe over there? No, because it was, it was so close to the water. Right? Is that it? What's the, what is that anyway? No, it's just rocks. What, right, it looks so close to the little water pools, right? Music is fantastic here, I love it. Um, I'm very, I, I'm very, very, I guess what I'll end on like, the whole thing of saying, just like, thanks for letting me know this. I'm very lucky to have an audience of people that just basically want to see me do well, and I appreciate that. Um, maybe here? Maybe on the other side alt altogether, maybe? Let's take a look at the, the picture again, because it might, is it? No, it's not on the opposite side, it can't be, look. It's, oh no, it's, it's, no, it's way, it's, I'm looking at the wrong angle here. It's over here. I'm looking at the way wrong angle, it's over on this cliff face over here. There we go. Okay. Benny, never want to take him off the team. Like, he's been so good to us, has such good healing, does good damage with the fire. Uh, so far, Gamut is not like a a full-on, like, oh, we're going to keep him on the team no matter what. So we could replace Gamut. We could. Uh, even though, like, he is the main character of our team, which means we'll have to find a new main character. Um, you know, which will be sad. <laughs> Every team needs a protagonist. So around here, maybe, was the angle. Yeah, it was uh, so it's up above here, I'd say. Nice. Just checking out the angles, looking them up. 
chicken at the end goes with no fuss. Um, here? And there we go. Awesome. Yep. Beautiful scenes though. Like, am I no like I would I would kill. I would kill to draw something in this world. Let's go give them to Vermeer. Yeah, in the nighttime this looks just as good. Yeah, I thought it was I wanna go to the, we're gonna be going there. We're gonna be going there. Okay, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted now. We're so close. People also form me that with Nahida. The reason why she's barefoot is because like it's kinda like Toph from Avatar the Last Airbender, which makes sense because she like uses the elements around her, like the grass and stuff. Um yeah, I was just thinking of giving her some like night air max, like for when she's like like on the downtime, you know what I mean? But then again, I get your like your feet get used to that, like the hobbits or something. Hey Vermeer. Have you found my paintings? Found them. Just I thought I left them in the place I was re taking references from. I tend to put things I've used on the ground while I paint out of habit. While I'm t too much of a rush, I tend to leave a lot of things behind. Thank you so much. If not for you, I'd have to go back to the city and buy more. You're not going to continue painting here? I don't even don't even mention it. I heard people say that two statues have eyes that could light up, as you can see them from afar. Giant statues blazing eyes standing next guard next to a mountain surely would have made an excellent painting. But I came here, the statues were here, but there were no shining eyes to be found. I thought I might have missed some special timing or that my ang angle was off, which I've been walking around. But it seems that no matter where I stand, the scenery doesn't change. I've only gotten things out of a, of a whole venture in this. The only thing I've gotten out of this whole venture is I found it in the pond down there. I have no clue what it is, but the more, look like, uh, the more I look at it, the more it resembles an eye. But if this is an eye, then there might be another similar rock nearby. People do have two eyes, after all. <sighs> That's my conjecture, anyway. Don't think too hard about it. This rock's a little used to me. Anyway, so why don't you have it? Consider it thanks for helping my, uh, find my tools. Statues of shining eyes. I wonder what secrets can uncover from the little pool. Okay, cool. Um, statue. Wait, do we insert them into the statue? Like what? 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 <laughs> I thought this was gonna let us go inside here. I want to go inside this building. Is that a quest? Is that a quest? It was out of quest. It was out of quest. TCG game. Um, the highest slope, the highest peak slope uh, of CU slope might be okay. We can do that. Okay, okay. Maybe we literally have to put the the eye in the in the socket. Let's go. Gamin, main character, Gamin, main character, Gamin, main character. Other people wish, oh, we're gonna die. Other people wish they were the main character. Um, we have been slacking, but okay, guys, I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I saw you guys before. We're not fighting. I'm just trying to get, put something in an eye socket. Look, he's so main character coded. Look at this. Like, Benny just doesn't have- Benny's like, side character, but in a good way, like, you know, he's like the Joey- like a Joey Wheeler type, you know what I mean? Like, he's- he's the- he's, he's a great side character. Ray's just like the guy who, like, joins the team reluctantly, you know what I mean? Nahida? Nahida's like the Marek, or the Bakura of the team, you know what I mean? Bakura's on the team, but, like, we don't fully trust him. Wait, there's something there. We do insert it in here! So that's one. Oh my god. So we need another one. Bro, where's the... Did you know where the other one might be? In the water? He said it, he found it in the water. So like, can we look around the water maybe? We might find one? Watching that, it's lit up. How will I find that one perfect view regarding that rock? About the rock, what are you suddenly interested in that? I picked it up while looking for a good view in the, the Lua Pool. Do you want to go to Lua Pool to have a look? You'll have to keep close uh, a close eye out. There are all sorts of things in that pool. I have no idea who is who's in there. Lua pool, is that just over here? Oh, it's- oh, it's right there. <laughs> Hello! Thank you, darkness. Cool. Very cool stuff. She says hey before murdering them as well. Like, actually not funny anymore. Like, genuinely not funny anymore. I think she needs to stop. We might have to take her off the team, guys. 
Very evil. So apparently as well, people were saying that getting Nahida was not like a foregone conclusion. Oh. So maybe there's multiple things we have to search for. Um, I, I was like thinking that like, oh, because I got so much like, um, stuff that it was a foregone conclusion. But people were telling me that like, it's, it's definitely not like, she's not an easy character to just obtain. Um. That is the Lua Pool, isn't it? Oh, it's this whole area is the Lua Pool. Okay. Cool. Um, so I guess we have to like look around everywhere. One second here now, guys. Just hold hands. Everyone hold hands. Psychopath. Like... I'm actually worried for the rest of the team's safety, you know what I mean? I was gonna say like with, with Bakura, they actually did trust Bakura quite a bit. It was kind of funny. <laughs> like, he was, like, in fairness, though, like, he was fairly good, or oh, there's another item over there, he was fairly good at, like, hiding how evil he was, in fairness. You know what I mean? It wasn't a situation where, like, oh, he was just, like, constantly evil for the sake of being evil. Like, he was, he was evil in secret, so I guess there is kind of something to the fact that, like, you know, look at that. Not even funny. Is that the eye? Potato. Just what I needed. So there, I, I have a feeling that the reason they're putting a bunch of items around here in this area is to make us look for the eye, but, like, we don't know where it is. You know what I mean? It's kind of like this, like, little scavenger hunt. Maybe it's up here in the tree. Mm. Bro, where did you find this thing again? If you tell us where it is, we won't kill you. And guys, we will kill him. Like, we might have to. Okay? We might have to kill him. Let's look- let's take a look around the- the whole area of the water. Maybe we might find something. Like here. Oh, we found it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we just climb up its back again. We'll do our commissions after this, for sure. And then we'll level up a water person as well. But I'm wondering, like, like, there's water people that I'm not too fond of. Like, I wonder if, like, we should try and pull another water person. Kava, you just mean a baby gang- I just mean a baby gangster. I just mean- I just mean a baby gangster, to be honest. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is gonna be so cool. I don't know why I'm afraid of these guys at all. Like, look at this. Watch. I see everything. Hold hands, I say. Another test subject. That tingle? <laughs> Bro, bro. Everyone hold hands. You need to run. She is psychotic. She will hurt you. So yeah, people are saying that this move here is a move you you keep. Yeah, yeah. I was very silly. Like that. It made, that makes sense. Isn't it? Like, because it's actually very good, and it makes everything dark around it. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Thank you for that. We could have had an issue. Mysterious stone... Mysterious statue. Okay. Insert. That. Give. There we go. We unlocked it. Now, you can go home, by the way. This is my discovery. So, we're gonna have to change our parties as well. Oh, that's how it is. These two rocks are where the eyes of the two statues. Their eyes will only shine once you saw them the stones in. Looks like I'll be able to paint some degree after all. I want to find a good angle. Thank you so much. No problem, bud. No problem. Okay. Um, party setup. Uh, baby gang says, deploy. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll look at our characters and see if there's any like water people we want to create. Because again, it is it is down to like me having defeat all opponents. And oh god. Oh my god. Thirty oh yeah, I thought it was thirty seconds per second. I was like, okay. That would have been insane. Um 
Oh man, get out of the crevice. Get out of the crevasse. Get out of the crevasse. Not a fan of you being in a crevasse. Oh no, okay, okay, we might have to reset this, uh, because again, I, I did poorly. I did really poorly there. Um... I did very poorly. Let's, um, let's wait for this to restart. I think it's probably the best option. We already defeated one of the opponents, which is good. So there's only two left, that's good. So I think we have to, once we break the shield, we just attack, we just keep attacking. We keep attacking, and we believe in this team, by the way. We believe in this team that we have fostered before. We don't need Nahida's, uh blessing you know what I mean we don't need that to to, to to help us conquer this if we stay calm oh great Let's feed, let's feed, let's see, feed Razor. Yeah, and then we use the last 34 seconds to try and defeat the last guy. There we go. Where are you? We're gonna try and overload him. That's why. Oh, in 20 seconds? I don't know. We could try. No, it's not gonna happen in 20 seconds. Stop hitting me, though. I think I'd be a good idea. Where are you? Maybe. <laughs> we did it. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my god, spiders? Since when? Are you bad spiders or good spiders? Good or bad? Okay. Terra smash. There you go. There's a little Terra Smash for your block. Oh. <laughs> Everybody stand back. So they are just like little bugaboos. Let's light it up. Okay, like yeah, we just got a few chests, which like honestly, like that's the prize for doing this. That's fine. I was kind of hoping for some like some like cute thing in here or something. You know what I mean? Like some like other statue or something. You can hit the thing right beside you if you want, Sayu. It's okay. It's okay. You can hit the thing right beside you. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. You're right, Sayu. You're right. So we did that. We completed that quest. That is, I guess, it's kind of cool. The, I, the, really, the real prize for this was like is the outside. I'm sorry. Like this is so beautiful. Okay, so let's do our commissions really quick. Uh, the first commission we're going to do is over here then. <laughs> oh yeah, let's look at our characters. Oh, that's not what we want to look at. Yeah, we still have like, you know, a lot of stuff that we can uh, wish upon. Um, honestly, like... I kind of want to wait, like, again, I, I think you guys should understand, like, my whole thing is with characters, is like, Nahida's an exception, I, I'm not a big fan of Nahida's design, I really not, um, but she's an exception for me just because, like, her move, like, sets up everyone else to be really awesome, you know what I mean, and that's fine with me, um, you know what I mean, my favorite designs, like, I love Wander's design, I love Bennett's, Razor's, Sayu's is really cool, of course, Gaman's is really cool, Noelle's is really cool, um, who else is really cool? I like Amber's. Uh, this is really cool too. This is this is good. Like you know, I wouldn't wouldn't be my favorite thing in the whole world, but it's really good. Um, also really cool. Another uh, cryo character. 
Um, funny as heck, but not fantastic. This is our, this is our only Hydro character is Barbara, uh, I who you're we really haven't as tall as my big sister. really used. I love her design. She's fantastic. Um, but it would just be a matter of like using her better because I didn't use her properly if we do put her on a team. And I think putting her, putting her on a team ain't a bad thing at all to have like someone with water available. You know what I mean? It ain't a bad thing. Okay, we're putting her on the team. Okay. <laughs> you sold me. Um, yeah, so let's like level her up, I guess. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Um, yeah. Because, like, it's our only water character at, at the moment. We can ascend them as well. Which is going to be good. And then we can uh, auto add again. I don't know. I, I, think, I think instead of... I think we don't use all of these. You know what I mean? We, we use maybe, like, three and then use, like, the rest of these. One of these, maybe. Two of these, maybe. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. There we go. Um, okay. And then if we look at her weapons. Um, I'm never sure which weapons are the best for these, but I'd say that, like, a high elemental mastery is probably very good for a character like this. So maybe... Energy shower. Pick up elemental energy or particles because one is energy. Heritage... Oh, sorry, wrong button. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. But then again, she's more of a healing character, isn't it? So do we want something that's like increased damage? I mean, like... Um, profile. So let's look at her talents again, by the way. So her, her base attack is just a water splash, which is higher damage. Then let the show begin uh, as a melody loop. On hit, Barbara's normal attacks heal your party members and nearby teammates for a certain amount of HP, which scales with Barbara's max HP. On hit, Barbara's charge attack generates four times the amount of healing. So it's literally just a healing move that heals our characters. Uh, cool. Shining Miracle uh, heals your own party's HP, uh, party members and nearby teammates for a large amount of HP that scales with Barbara's max HP. Okay, cool. Um... Attributes, we have to go in here and claim this, because now we can do a standard wish. Um, artifacts, again, like, I'm just going to put, like, you know, Elemental Mastery, maybe. Uh, energy Recharge, who knows. Who knows. <laughs> Crit Damage, no. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, elemental, oh no, not he's using that. Um, elemental mastery, and yeah, why not? Why not at this point? Uh, profile story. Barbara is a deaconess of the Church of Favonius, as well as a shining idol to Mondstadt. The sight of Barbara makes all my problems disappear. This is quite a common saying. That dance definitely didn't make my problems disappear. This is quite a common saying among the citizens of Mondstadt. In fact, Barbara can do much more than uh, just put her people in a better mood. Her healing powers extend to, to flesh wounds and her physical ailments. Barbara is known to have access to miraculous healing power through her Hydra Vision. However, Barbara is herself known to all, uh, know, knows that hard work is the most miraculous magic of all. Cool. I'll protect us. You bet you will. Uh, okay, so let's then form a party. With Barbara on it. So this is the baby gangsters. Very good. This <laughs> Calvo will never not press the wrong buttons at every single moment in time. Uh, this is the baby gangsters, but we have baby gangster two, which in general is is a is a is a is a mix match of a team. Nahida's na, na, Nahida's boys. Nahida, right? Nahida? Uh, boys on the town is good. I want to keep boys in town just for legacy purposes. This one needs to change a bit. Uh, we might put then we can do this. Barbara um, and then put a dendro character here like this. For ages. 
Because apparently this is probably going to be a very powerful thing. Now, do we want to put Ben on this team? I think so. I think Ben has been very good in terms of this, this team right here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting more and more, like, when I saw the changes happening in each pa the, the party here, if I can just show the parties here, like, whatever, like, um... We're going to use this party for a bit, by the way. Whenever, um, what happens is whenever you talk to a story-based character, like, your main character comes out anyway. So, like, really, none of the characters are canon that you're using besides this character. And we have a main character on the list, Barbara. There we go. We have a main character as well. That's my biggest concern always. We need a protagonist, you know? We've all, this, this, this is always a thing here, isn't it? Really well dressed, though. Look at this. This is a great outfit. Really well designed. Oh, God, it's Barbara. Okay, so this is the real test, uh, is me using Barbara. So I guess, what is it, like, you, they're gonna get wet anyway. Um... So that causes bloom, and then you do... Okay. Nadia's thing is like, hey, everything's alright. Okay, yeah, I can see it. I can definitely see it. I'm for it. You know what I mean? I'm for it. That's a, I, th I think that's a cool party. Off we go. You know what I mean? It could be. It could be. Uh, like I think. I think in terms of style so far, it definitely is a, a really cool party. Go, Barbara, go. And that just heals our characters, right? Does it heal Razor? Like, is that what is that what it does? I think it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's that's really sick. The barber's actually okay. Again, this is one of those things where like you know, I was wrong for sure when it came to like people. This is episodes many episodes ago when people were like, hey, you're just using Barber wrong, and that's fair enough. You know what I mean? That's like okay, like I was using Barber wrong. That's that's it. And I feel like now it's like okay, it's kind of cool to have her in a team, and we can switch back between teams depending on like how we feel on the day. You know, it's not gonna be a big deal. Um, but it's fun, to, like I said, it's fun to be wrong, and in many times during this playthrough, we have, um, changed our status, or changed our way of doing things because we were wrong, and I'm, I'm very okay with that. Um, happens a lot. Uh, Fatui, 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 Um, yeah, because I think it was like, I, I think it was literally like, not even joking, like maybe like, seven episodes ago when people were like, you're using Barbara wrong. And I'm 100% okay with, like, like, admitting, putting on my hand and being like, yeah, I was wrong. You know what I mean? Is this another Timmy mission? Oh, no, it's not. It's a Knight of Avonius mission. How do you do, Honorary Knight? Have you been reading the Knights of Avonius handbook carefully? Oh, God, another quiz. L like last time, I have a few questions for you. These questions cover some content from the handbook as well as some common sense questions. Depending on how you answer, I'll be giving you a small gift. Ask away. As expected, the Honorary Knight, you do seem confident. Please, listen to my questions. Do you remember Miss Lisa? No. Well, if you ever- No, I'm joking. If you ever fail to return books to the library in the Knights of Avonius, you'll remember her for sure. My question is, what is Miss Lisa's official title in the Knight of Avonius? She is the library administrator. It's the same thing. <laughs> I'm sure you're familiar with Ms. Ka Mr. Kai. He does often make a deep impression or depression. Uh, here's my question. What is Mr. Kai's official uh, title in the Knights of Avonius? He is... The Knight Captain. What? <laughs> you definitely met Miss Amber for it. Maybe? I'm sure her passion was most memorable indeed. So the question is, what is Miss Amber's official title as the Knight of Avonius? She is... Outrider Knight. Yes, I knew this. Alright, they're all. that was all for me. Let me see. Wow, the Knights are so strict. Unfortunately, you didn't answer them all correctly. But I think you did a good job considering the circumstances. Please take this. What did I get? Ten pro I'll take it. Okay, cool. Okay, so the next one we're doing is um, this one over here, which is just on the road to... Oh, there's one in Storm Terror's Lair, like there always is, but we'll do the one on the road to Storm Terror's Lair next. 
We're all... Oh, this is probably... We can probably do this now, right? Let's see. Recommend level 15. Yeah, we can. We can definitely do this type of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll finish our... Defeat the monsters and save Alan. Okay, Jesus Christ, Alan. You okay? These are not the monsters, but we'll kill them anyway. Let the show begin. So I wonder if, like... Jesus Christ. Actually, not bad. Right? Actually, not bad at all. Yeah, um... So I wonder if it's a good idea to, like, go into an attack... Like, say, Razor. Like, using Barbara's move to, like, um, to benefit Razor. Because Razor, like, does have his health. His health is reduced very, very quickly. Like, extremely quickly. You know what I mean? So I wonder if that would be a good idea. You okay, Alan? Thank you, Traveler. You saved me. I never expected there to be monsters here. I'm just lucky to have run to you. Please take this for your trouble. What'd you give me? What'd you give me, Alan? What'd you give me? I didn't even see it. Sorry, Alan. That's my bad. Okay, so he. the next place we're going is here. This is right over here. Oh, we also, like, yeah, we, we, we claimed that, didn't we? We did claim it for Ascension on you. Yeah, we claimed it. Yeah. She's doing her dance again. Stop it. We already picked you. We already picked you, okay? You don't need to you don't need to butter us up. She's like, I swear I'm a baby gangster. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Destroy the hilly trail towers. Oh my god, look at this. Look how far down this goes. We've been in this valley before heading to Storm Terror. It's actually very fun. Let's drop down on this. Actually, on this. Okay, not drop down on that. <laughs> Teamwork is dreamwork. Yeah. I'll protect you. I actually kind of like them. We'll let, they'll let him just do this as this is happening. Where's the other one? Over here? We found a perfect companion for Razor. A perfect one. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, she just did it without the, the animation. That's interesting. Right? Hold hands with yourself there. Wait, did, does Bloom do like, like, does like a spreading damage almost? Is that what we're getting at here? Does Bloom do like a spreading damage? Enemy reinforcements have come, the commission's finished, guys. I see everything. You failed. You failed. Get out of here! Everybody stand back! Look at that, I'm burning as well. Freaking hell. Really good team. Nadia, Nahidas, Nahidas, uh, has improved our team tenfold. And again, I see her as a setup character. I see her as a support character. Someone who sets up the moves and lets the other characters go. You know? So now we have to defeat all opponents, which... Storm Terror's Lair, let's go. Storm Terror's Lair. You gotta beware. That's not a good song. Okay. Wait, main character. She's the protagonist of this part of the story. Gamu's the protagonist of the other part of the story. Awful. Defeat only five opponents. Let the show begin. I see everything. 
Ready, so this is her move. Oh god, what the hell? Oh no. Let's light it up! But they didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> there was no even there's no even chance for them to be anything other than dead. They're mo like literally when they when they were born, when they were little babies, and they said to their mommy, "Mommy, I want to be a lawyer." Honey, you're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna die. How, mommy? There's this group called the Baby Gangsters with Nahida. You're dead. Well, okay. I'll do a few, mommy. It's not for me. I'm just saying. Like I just know the truth. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Well, thanks. Thank you for completing back. today's commissions. Here is your reward. Nice. Ad Astra. We got it. Oh, we upped an adventure rank. Since when? <laughs> Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is, uh, this one here. So we're gonna go to this one over here. I wonder if we'll ever make it to Liu, Liu Harbor. The days are getting longer. Also, we have a standard wish. Let's go. And we got. Well, I actually needed one, actually. I actually needed it, in fairness. I've been looking for that everywhere. Tracks on the road is actually really cool as well, coming into the muddy waters. So we have to look for... Search for a strange jade plate. Like this over here? chest over there. We'll go get that in a second. Oh. Oh. Hold on a second here. Uh, best thing to do is probably okay? you. Oh my god. Bloom is insane. Bloom is insane. Look at that. Let's dance. Genuinely think that we need to... Um, Maybe nerf our team a bit. To unite ambition, be steadfast and move at all times. This looks like the kind of sword was hoping for. Enter the rune? What does she mean, enter the, enter the rune? Enter the rune and search for a strange jade plate, but that... Enter what? What do you mean, enter the rune? Did it open up something that I didn't see? Like what what do you mean enter the rune? Enter the rune and search for a strange jade plate. Wait, does she want me to find four of those just around the world map? Is that what she wants? Hmm. Girl. Wait, these runes over here? Wait, we saw a bunch of these ones around the place. We saw them. Hold on a second, we actually saw these plates. But I, I only remember where there's like a few. Well, we'll head up here anyway. I remember it was in this direction at the very least. Right? 
There's one. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Do we have to kill something first? You're alive. No? What do you mean? The rooms will hold some kind of clues. I don't think they will. Don't think they will. Um... There's no hint. Maybe the ruin will hold some clues. This is a ruin. So maybe go a little bit deeper into the ruin? Drain the water somehow, maybe? It looks like the water can somehow be drained, unless, like, it's like a... I'll protect us. No. Uh, okay, let's keep going up this way. If I can't find it, I can't find it, we'll come back to it. Like, there's, it, these quests aren't gonna go away. You know what I mean? And I don't want to just waste a bit more time here doing that. Actually, I probably should activate this as like a... Just so if we want to do these dungeons later, we have like a little um, access point. And a little... Uh, go, Barbara, go. go, Barbara, go. Yeah, we can't do this yet, but we have a fast travel point. That's the, that's the point. Search for a strange jade plate. It's crazy because like... I saw we saw a bunch of these earlier, but like if they if they won't just that tingle. Did you just call me? What did you call me? Oh, you put dirt in my eyes. You're gonna die. I love the way the, ch the sky changes whenever that happens. You know what I mean? I see everything. Burning. Little bloom going on, little bloom action, you know what I mean? You just stand there, take your bloom. Cause there wasn't a G there wasn't one of those circular plates. Now whether that's what we're looking for or not is a is a different story. Oh, these guys are packed around here, guys. It was over here, by the way. I know where there's another one as well. Is this this ain't it? No, that was a different thing. Yeah, it was here. Right? No, maybe it wasn't here. I thought I thought I could have sworn it was here. I could have sworn there was one here. No? I could maybe I I'm I'm false memory for days in this game sometimes. That happens to me quite a bit in games. I have false memories about games sometimes. So if you ever hear me reviewing a game like, you know, I'm like, "Man, I love Genshin Impact." What, you know when Joel from The Last of Us showed up? That was great. No, it's not like that. It's usually just like little things where it's like, Oh, was it over here? I thought it was over here. Which I think is very normal. Where wh Whereabouts was it? Because there was... Was there not like one a circular pattern nearby or something? Or maybe it was a different rune altogether I'm thinking of. That was near the, the water as well. You know what? Probably... Probably. Look, okay, what I might do is I might come back to this next time. Because I, I, I have no idea when she means it's searched. Because I, 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 I thought it would be the circular things. But apparently it's not. <laughs> Everyone I'm hold hands. Blue, 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 blue. Take your blue. Take your blue. Now take your fire. Yeah. <laughs> 
What was I thinking of then? Like, there was no... Obviously, I was thinking there was circular patterns everywhere. Um, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, let's look at these quests here then. We can do that at some other point. So we have this as well, which is the pe highest peak of CU, CU Slope. Which is over here. Is CU Slope, right? Let's look if we can see if we can find the highest peak in CU Slope. I think I think it's literally over here. Which would and there was like a white thing on top, wasn't there? I think that's it. I think CU Slope was actually over here. What is all this thing? Oh my god, there's so much to do. There's so much maybe. No, maybe not. <laughs> Another test subject. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do I'm, I'm in trouble, they're gonna throw dirt at me. I know. You boys get him. Right, boss? It's a good team. This is the kind of surprise I could sing about. So there's a challenge over here, there's a bunch of stuff over here we didn't even notice. But this is in a different part of the map, that's why we didn't go to it yet. Yeah. Okay, let's head up to the... We'll, we'll focus on all those di different parts of the map when we get there. Go, Barbara, go! I'm thinking they put the big white tree up there for a reason. No, I'm fine. Thank you, though. People say you can turn it off. Um, it doesn't really bother me. It's like a few-second thing. Um, and it doesn't bother me whatsoever. <laughs> Does not bother me. I wonder if like there is like people sniping my account though. Probably not. It's probably like again, yeah, like what I've been told is it literally just randomers um wanting to join other people's teams so they look for people who are online or, or choose like a random one. Which fair enough. And also like I think People, you know, because they, I, I didn't realize this as well, by the way, they changed the title screen. They changed the title screen in this game, uh, depending on what time of day it is. So here it is. Oh, it is, yeah, they, they, again, this really freaking good design. You know what I mean? Just put a big white tree on top of a mountain. Show us where the actual peak is. Jesus freaking Christ, look at all of this. This is a gorgeous game, isn't it? You think so? You think so? Okay, so the thing is, we can go over here and do this, but I actually do want to get to Liu Harbor. I think we do this next after we get this one. We get the or we get this one first, right? This is probably the, the one to get first. Yeah. And then we focus on getting well, only 37% exploration. Actually, I do want to explore this area first, actually, before we do anything. Um, I would have liked to do to have done that quest, but I wasn't sure. I, I still, I, I'm just not sure what, what, what we do with it. Um, there's also this over here, which we haven't gotten. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we still have to do. Again, I'm not the type of person who just goes like, okay, let's go here now. You know what I mean? Uh, I like exploring as much as I can. Um, yeah, let's go here. So I think we're going to activate this, this thing here. I think that's probably the best. We did explore part of this. But we didn't get this, so I feel like we have to go back there. And this will only take a few seconds, because you don't have to explore the full beach. You know what I mean? We just have to, like, unlock this area over here. Making my way downtown, walking fast. And then we have to get two quest markers in Dragon Spine as well. We don't have to. But I want to. I want to get that over there as well. What, what, what's that on the map? Is it it's it's oh it's 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 like in another part. Yeah, we okay, okay, we'll figure we'll figure it all out when we get there. You know, we don't want to there's like a there's like two things. It's like I don't want to rush myself and I also like want to pace myself. You know what I mean? Where it's like where it's much the world is much nicer if you do it in sections, I guess. Is that a new type of enemy? That's a big boy. Oh look at this place. <gasps> Everyone's in trouble. I just found a new place, guys. Smart. 
smell of treasure. It really can't kill you. I love him so much. We should actually you know what? Let's be fair about this. Let's be fair. Our team is very powerful. Our team is very, very powerful. Let us do this thing where we storm the gates properly. You know what I mean? I can't let them see me because I want this to be a thing where it seems like I'm very, very noble. We're going to storm the gates properly. Storm the gates? You have lost your touch. Nahida, please. I just want to do something cool. Huh? Something cool, huh? Sorry. We're going to destroy them all. No competition. No, Nahida. Like, it'd be really cool if you, like, storm the gate. No. We're going to storm. Okay, you get to storm the gates this one time. But next time, murder. Okay, deal. I see everything. I told you not to. We're gonna storm the gates. I lied. Big liar energy coming from me. I can tell. <laughs> There's a reason why they call me the big liar. Who calls you that? Who, who in the world has called you that? Harry? I, I do not know who Harry is. Exactly. If you don't know where Harry is, you probably should sit down. Didn't want it to change to him, but we changed him. Get a little burning going. It's insane. It's insane. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. I also want to thank the, the people who rightfully... Uh, in the comments have been like saying you have improved a lot since the start of the, the game which is just like I and I'm not trying to be like arrogant or anything like uh, because like I, I think I'd still have so much left to improve but I think it's obvious that I have improved like you know you'd have to be blind to say I didn't improve um, you'd have to be silly oh, that's really cool too what hell did what level are you level 33 oh level 33 he's also a Christmas monster oh Nahid Nahid no <laughs> Sharing the knowledge, she says. She knows what she's doing. So I don't think there is... Like, am I wrong? And again, if I am wrong, please let me know. Is there iframes in this game? Like, because... Or, oh, there is. There is. There definitely is. That's, that's, that's my frames right there. Yeah. Because I was wondering just because like, I felt like I dodged, but maybe I didn't dodge fast enough. I think there are iframes in this game. I think we're gonna switch to Barbara very quickly after this. Come on, we can do it. Huh. I see everything. Huh. Huh. I'm going in. Make yourself at home. So yeah, yeah, that that's that's the basis. I know that it does more to it than just like you do more damage. But someone's like, hey, you know, you just you just do more damage when you're doing that. Like, is and people say like people have very detailed explanations. And I thank you for that too. <laughs> um, I think yeah, it's 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 a reaction to the moves that you're doing, the the other moves you're doing. Your leader's dead, by the way. Actually, no, the shamans are the leaders. I I I should pay attention to um actual culture. Oh, he, he's like, now! <laughs> Wait, are you actually going back to heal up? Oh, no, he... That's interesting. He came back to the spot I was standing in. Was it just like... Was it... I wonder if, like, the game is developed in a way that, like, they... They wouldn't expect me to drop down so quickly, maybe? And, like, they kind of, like, changed... Their, um... They changed their course. They didn't change their course because they felt like we didn't change their course. I wonder if that's actually the case. Could be the case. Again, there's no way of me actually knowing this. But that would be interesting if that's the way it happened because he went back and he, he, he tried to fight um, us. But he tried to fight us like in a different, in the same place we were just standing in. There's that thing we want to unlock over there. We'll unlock all of that before we do anything else, guys. And do that challenge as well. And kill all these guys.
Well, if it isn't the leftovers. Yeah, yeah. Insane. Insane. Some good moves. Empty chest. Good for storage. Okay, we'll get that. We can get that. We can get that. We can get that. We can get that. We just have to fly, fly a little higher. Blow up three exploding barrels. Okay, let's go. You think I won't? You think I won't? Wait, are you one of them? Okay, maybe I won't actually. Okay, we need to be way faster than that, I guess. Wait. What was the challenge? Four exploding barrels? Was that the challenge? Four exploding barrels? I think it was four exploding barrels. Okay. I thought it was three. Honestly, Amber would be perfect for this one, to be honest. <laughs> Amber would be absolutely perfect for this one. Wait. Wait, hold on. We Wait. Everybody stand back. What? Did it like did I miss the time just by a second? If so, that's crazy. You know, we'll accept it. But Jesus. <laughs> it's a miracle. It is a miracle, Bennett. You understand life. Look how much happy they are when he does not. He has been out for a while. What's he say? Nothing. Don't worry. There we go. Unlock this. Didn't even know I pressed it, but we'll take it. So there's another challenge here, which I'm guessing is a uh, defeat all opponents. Okay. Oh. Hold hands. Hold hands. Frickin' insane. Cool. Okay, so we came here to get what we wanted to get. I also want to go... I think that probably just leads up to Dragon Spine, though, right? The area up here? We'll see. We'll check it out. Please go to the Liu Arbor. <laughs> I love that, like, a lot of people, um, were getting that joke very, uh, and, like, adding to that joke. Please. We go. <laughs> um, the joke is that I'm very aware that, like, we, we've been saying we're going to the U Harbor for, like, ten years now. You know, that's the joke. Let's light it up. And it's funny, you know what I mean? It's funny to me. Huh? Let's light it up. No? I guess it doesn't work on the backslash. There's one more probably around here. Or maybe up on the mountain or something. Usually they're usually like it's it's like in plain sight though. And I'm just being silly. You know what I mean? That's what usually happens. I'll check up here just to see if we can see anything up here. Um Cause you like usually it is in plain sight. There's there there, so like the logic dictates to be over here, right? Like sticking out over here? Yeah. Let's light it up. Just the way mathematics works, I guess. <laughs> it's a miracle. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Oh shit, we forgot main character. We're making Barbara the second main character. The way the TV show works is really cool. The the the, the anime uh, is that we follow Barbara's story one episode and then we follow Gom in the next episode. Yeah, I think it just leads up to Dragon Spine, maybe. I ain't complaining. Trying to see where that um, item was on the map. Yeah, I think it does, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, there's a challenge here, though. Oh, Jesus. Just you two? 
Everyone hold hands. Everyone hold hands is right. A little bit of burning never hurt nobody. A little bit of burning never hurt nobody. Ain't no drama. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. Cool. These things useful? They're very useful. Thank you so much. So this is another thing. But again, even if we don't do these now, I'm not going to do these now, I don't think. Level 36. Yeah, let's do this one right now. Yeah, let's do it with this team. Practice more with this team. I, I'm so glad that I was wrong about Barbara. I'm so glad. Your character will be periodically conflicted with engulfing storm, continuously draining your energy onto the Okay, cool. Let's go. Think I care? I see everything. Oh. We can't wait one second. Okay, there we go. Let's dance. I forgot these guys are electric. Hold on a second, guys. What do you think is? I think this is a healing move, so maybe we should like refrain from using that like right away all the time. I see everything. It is. Uh, in fact, I know it's a healing move. But actually, like a mix of like. Yeah. Let the show begin. I see everything. Wrong one. I see. I'm still kind of like you can tell. I'm kind of looking at the the, the the characters here and being like, okay, which one do we do? Which one do we do? Um, and then we get a little reward for this. I think it's going good. I will leave domain as well. Thank you so much for that stuff. Cool. Okay, so now is there? Can I see the item around here, or is it up on top of the thing? We've been playing for one hour and ten minutes already. This game is like I, I yeah, like I said, it's the ultimate dopamine rush. It's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. Never actually watched Adventure Time. I know, that's probably a bit of a lie. I've watched parts of Adventure Time. Um, but never like, I was one of those those kids who like was, was, I, 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 I was gonna sound insulting what I was gonna say. I was gonna say I was too grown up at the time. It wasn't that, it was just pretty much like, like I didn't watch TV when it started, but I, I knew of it, and like, it was one of those things where like, Cartoon Network for me was on a downslope for a long time, because as a kid, like, you know, you kind of, you you grow allegiance to the cartoons you like. For me, it was like, Billy and Mandy, Dexter's Lab, Kids Next Door, but my two favorites are Billy and Mandy and Kids Next Door, they were my two favorite cartoons on television. Um, Adventure time. And so like, when it got to a point where I was like, oh, like this is... I don't like this anymore, you know? I don't like, uh, like, Cartoon Network anymore, you know what I mean? I wasn't into Ben 10. I could, I, I could not care. Johnny Test was cool sometimes, but, like, again, I wasn't into it at all. Um, which is funny, because, like, Ben 10 is probably one of the reasons why Cartoon Network stayed afloat for so long. And then Adventure Time came along, and, like, everyone I talked to who loved Cartoon Network when I was a kid started talking about how, like, oh, no, this is, like, Calvin, you don't understand, this is, like, the, the, the best... 
This is this is legit like one of the best shows out there. Um and then, you know, Steven Universe came along and everyone was like, you have to watch Steven Universe, which I never got around to it. Not because like I was being like stubborn or anything. It was just literally more just a case of I'd never like I think at the time I think at the time you know when you kind of like reside yourself, you're like, okay, I'm outside all the time. I don't have time to watch cartoons. When I come home, I'm watching like something serious. I'm watching Criminal Minds or something. When in reality, like, I watched uh, Steven Universe, a bit of Steven Universe. I saw like, you know, this, you know, the giant one episode and all that stuff. And I was like, this is actually really good. Um, it's, it's always strange to think like what makes me want to keep watching a TV show. You know what I mean? Because it's always different depending on the day. Yeah. Defeat all opponents. I see everything. Actually, fire might be better with these guys. Oh, this also- oh no, I was saying this also reduces heat. I- I- I think what was happening actually was, uh... Again, I'm using this, but like, I don't think it- it benefits us that much. I'm trying to get rid of that shield as well. Electro seems to have worked, like, quite a few times with the- with the shield. Oh my god, what is that? What are you, buddy? Hey! Hi! Not what I wanted to do, but I, I pressed the wrong character, but hey. Interesting. I stepped out because I needed to, because we we're going to lose health anyway. I wonder if we can actually like stay by the fire is probably a good idea. Let's light it up. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see everything. I can get a little dendro on it. Yeah. Nice little electro damage too. Nice little bloom damage. Can we oh god, he put out the fire. He put out the fire. He put out the fire. I wonder, can we do this? F it. That's probably a bad idea, but F it. Oh, I don't know if we can do this. No, we're not going to be. We're so close, though. Um, we can definitely do that, though. We can definitely do that. I, I think we definitely do that. I think I just made a few little mini mistakes that weren't good. Uh, so we start off again. Yeah. That was- the, the, those mistakes were very silly. I think that's probably the best way to put it. You can abandon the challenge by pressing- I've tried that before and it hasn't worked for me. Maybe it's only in specific challenges you can abandon the challenge? And then we have these two big boys. Make yourselves at home. Make yourselves at home, boys. Look at that damage, actually. We should probably remember that.
Yeah, we want as much time as possible to defeat this boy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I think using our flame characters might be just what we need sometimes here. Maybe not getting rid of this move as well early was was a bad idea, to be honest. Yeah, because he's like stepped into the fire there as well. Yeah, we're doing way better than the first time for sure. So that was another challenge defeated. Cool, cool. And then we can go up and get this thing as well. Kevin, let you have a... <laughs> Kevin, please. Please. Did we get that? We did. Everyone hold hands. Yeah. Kevin, I beg you. I can't even see for a second. It was my fault though. I couldn't see though. I'm not trying to make it seem like the game. The game's well. I, I backed myself into a corner. Everybody stand back. Can you see that? Mountain, oh, a, a achievement? 40 chest, chest and dragon spine, Jesus. Let's light it up. So, I think we get one of these quest markers, since we're so close to exploring all the dragon spine anyway, and then we go to Liu Harbor. I think that's the, the next goal. Right, yeah. I also like did see uh, some comments that like like one or two, and I don't think like many people were like out, like upset by it, but I think it's a good thing to like talk about regardless. Um, a lot of people, you know, were under the assumption that this would be a full free to play playthrough, and the thing is like you know I like I not you know I will not be spending any money on this game, um, but basically like what happened was we had. You know, people gifting um, some stuff to me. And the reason why I felt as though I couldn't, that I had to, like, use, like, oh, like here's the thing. Like, I'm so appreciative of the stuff people give to me that, like, there's no way that, like, I'm going to ever turn down a gift like that. You know what I mean? That Like, it was a very, very nice thing to do. And people weren't, people weren't like, oh, that wasn't very nice. That wasn't nice. Uh, there wasn't any situation like that. Um, just to address it, like, you know, if people give something to me, you know, there's no way I'm ever going to, like, look at a gift horse in the mouth, you know what I mean? I'm going to very much accept and, and, and be thankful, um, that they, that they, they were invested enough in the playthrough that they did that. You know what I mean? That they, they were able to do that for me. Um, razor time, maybe? Actually, since it's water... Yeah. <laughs> Just destroyed them completely. I see everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's no one like like again. There's no. There's no scolding or anything like that. Like I'm not like because I always worry that it comes across like that. And people will be like, oh, like you know, Calvin said this and that. 
Um, it's literally just a thing of like, you know, don't, 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 don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Boom. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Where was it? Did you guys see it? I think they showed them very briefly at the start anyway. Yeah, there's one over there, okay. Let's light it up. It's right here. Six seconds. Why do they never miss? Adventure Challenge completed. Nice. That's what I call treasure. Nice, nice. And like, you know, another thing is like, you know, when people ask for separate videos, it's like we're already uploading 14 videos a week. Um if we do get into the stage where like, okay, we're gonna do another thing or something like that, that's obviously gonna be like a big deal, you know what I mean? It's a big deal. Hmm. Everyone Take this. Uh, I don't think that happened. <laughs> I, I think you, I think you just dead. That's actually a very fun move, set, isn't it? The one he has there. The the kind of sp you have to spin around them and like avoid them like that. Uh, okay, so we can go over there to get that. I think we're gonna have to go up to a high enough place. We mar got the marker there, which is good. So maybe try climbing up on this. Let's go. Oh no, we don't need to climb up on it. There's a rock formation right under it. Also, for the people that like, uh, don't know what blind means, I guess it's just changed from when I was like starting and like it's, it's just called first playthrough now. Back in the day, it was like, a blind playthrough was literally just like, your first playthrough. You're going to this game not knowing much, you know what I mean? Um, and which is kind of crazy, like, stuff changes over time, you know? It's no longer, I don't think, I don't think people call it a blind playthrough anymore. Um, when I started on YouTube, it was, it was like, blind. That's a, it's a blind playthrough. Um, now it's first playthrough, or first time playing is like one of the things that people search now. Which is why I called the series first time playing, because then it's like much easier for people to be like, yeah, this is his first playthrough. Oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? It just makes uh, a lot of sense. Um... Oh, this, this is one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. Easily. Easily one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. Do you want to come down? I see everything. Or we just damage you like this from the, from above? Should not have changed. I, ha I have a bad habit of changing that, like, which shouldn't happen, you know what I mean? Extremely, extremely bad habit. We could just do this to him, you know what I mean? Which would make sense. Yeah, get the chest. Like, I started doing YouTube nine years ago. Uh, it's now a job. <laughs> at, the t at the time, it definitely wasn't. Um, and you you call it... You basically would just call it a blind playthrough. It's, it's just very simple, you know what I mean? It's, it's not... Um, there's not much else to it. Now it's like, um, I think it's kind of like a little bit different. That's gonna hurt in the morning. But like, I feel, I still feel like I put blind in the title of, uh, of an episode. It's just, it's, and, and it's basically just so like, you know, people who are like, like maybe a little bit older who know what a blind playthrough is and like have, have wrong thing altogether, Calvin, uh, who kind of like understand the idea of what a blind playthrough is will know what it is better. Just not used to using water guys, uh, creature guys, I'll be honest with you. Not used to it. Uh, that's why there's always like this disconnect sometimes when it's like, oh yeah, like I put put the water out with the fire, you know? 
just not used to it, like with, with enemies like that, because I've been defeating them so long with ice and doing and like electric moves. You know what I mean? There's just a proper disconnect sometimes with me. This is the first time ever using a water type um, human Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's the first time ever. And there's still gonna be a lot of firsts in this game. Which I enjoy. I enjoy the fact that there's a lot of versions in the game. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, let's head back to this place and we're going to walk the, the path. We're going to walk the path. Finally to go to Liu Harbor. Change up everything. It's going to change up absolutely everything in this game. And we're going to walk this path. But first... Let's go to the archive for a second here. Um, where's the books? Teva travel guide is really cool. Oh, this is cool, actually. Should we read this? It's new. I... I actually, yeah, let's actually read this. Volume 1, the Dabaduba Gorge. Um... The three hilly curl tribes located in the valley are densely populated. What if we built a huge spinning ball shaped cell in the center of the valley and threw all the hilly trills into it? That way we might be able to generate enough energy to power all the mills and monsters for at least five years. If we took it one step further by grinding the hilly trills are too old or too weak into food and feeding them to the strong ones, we might be able to build ourselves a perpetual motion machine that can support a huge factory like in uh, Shnaznaya. Jesus Christ. It seems totally feasible to me, but then when told when I told Miss Lisa about this idea, she took looked at me and pondered in silence for a long time, then changed the subject gracefully. That sounds like Lisa. Star Snatch Cliff. The Animo Archon is a bit too acorn, sorry. Is a bit too undisciplined for me. If I were a god, I would not have allowed my realm to look uh so unorganized and ragged. With enough bombs placed in proper positions, even huge cliffs like Star Snatch would crumble into dust in a second, with a flatter ter terrain. Monsa would surely look much nicer, but that, um... Unctuous cavalry captain rejected my proposal instantly. He even asked me to stay away from Star Strange Cliff. Windrise. Windrise is the only area in Monsa that has relatively flat terrain, and at the center there's a huge oak tree. It is said that Vanessa ascended there. I serve Vanessa as the hero that fought against the aristocrats. I searched around the tree for a long time, but did not find any launching device. I grabbed some hilly trails nearby to put my theory to test, but sadly, the long flying distance was here from the, to the hunter's huts around Springvale. How disappointing. So what's crazy about this person uh, is that they are trying to make Tevat into more of a commercialized industrial area that's more efficient rather than beautiful. Falcon Coast. My unsuccessful experiment caused quite a stir in Springville, so Miss Jean from the Knights of Favonius arranged someone to keep tabs on me. I wonder why. All I could do all day was wander around at Falcon Coast. This is such a boring place. The stupid eagles hovering in the sky puffed up animal slimes all bored me to death. The worst of all is I had nothing to do. On the other hand, the hour girl who was sent to modern me had quite a lot of fun with the kids. <laughs> of course, of course Amber did. Whispering Wood. Yet another forest in Mondstadt, the outrider named Amber seemed to know her way around this place. The explosive toy she carried around caught my attention. With some tweaks, I could turn to something that could blow the forest and even the nearby mountains and smithereens easily. This person is thinking, thinking how to make this place more efficient, how to make it more industrial, and it's actually kind of terrifying. Um, my proposal seemed to scare her, but an explosive stuffed toy in, is indeed a brilliant idea. I must try it out sometime. Bright brown uh, crown canyon. I finally got rid of the stalker from the Knights of Vonius, so she ditched Amber. This valley I found at the northwest coast of Cider Lake is still guarded by ancient mechanisms, but the soldier responsible for holding the pass of the King of Gales were nowhere to be found now. All the winds of time had left behind were uh, unintelligent hillichurls and the silent mechanical guards. My attempt to control the rune guards with hillichurls failed as well. The guard is split into pieces, and as for my fate of the hillichurls, I strapped onto it. I'll spare you gory details, half of the runes were also destroyed in the process. Storm Terror's Lair... Bright Crown Canyon uh, leads to the huge ruin of the ancient city, which was built by the cruel king of the Gale, the uh, Carabian. The Carabian. The city was built in a ring shape. It seemed that every resident of the city had been arranged to their own spot, the inner and outer rings. Right in the center of the city was a, the tall tower where the king's gale resided. The ruins of the domain of this cruel king, who once tried to control his people's lives, are now utterly deserted. I blew up a few uh, uh, arcades. Uh, so people would climb up the tower more easily. Looks quite good to me. The rune feels more ancient now. So she changed the... She blew up the runes? She... 
That's why the runes like are like it like they look more like runes now. She made them more climbable. So she's simultaneously the reason we can climb that area better. And also at the same time made it like like damage a, a delicate ecosystem. That's effed. <laughs> That's effed. That's insane. Right? That's absolutely insane. If that's what I'm getting from that, there's there's this character going around saying, let's blow up she blew up Storm Terror Pirates of Storm Terror's lair. To make it look more like ruins. And to make it more climbable and efficient. I love this bridge. It's really nice. Hey guys, how are you Everybody doing? You ruined my perfect walk on this bridge here. I love a good bridge. Oh, main character. Main character time. So we have three protagonists so far. We have Wander, Barbara, and Gami. The three protagonists of this game. Ten, look, look at this little monster. Ten back. Many have entered and never returned. So freaking cool. Look at all this stuff. And look at the look at the passage up here. Oh, we should probably mark the quest with the with the Leo Harbor quest. Where is it? Um There it is. Look at this, it's so freaking awesome, look at this. We're walking up the wrong way, come on, Calvin, be, be more RP. Hmm. Well, if it isn't the rocky areas of Gallum Bro. Okay, party setup. Let's change to baby gangsters and deploy. That was the smoothest we've ever done it. I still miss Wander as a character, him being around the place, guys. I love him to pieces. Yeah. See, yeah, we need to It's gonna disappear, see look. We need to we need to build it up as quick as possible. Terra smash. So we need to find some enemies, I think. Huh. No? I thought that would work. Hold on a second. Actually, yeah. wait a second. Is it possible? Terra smash. Oh god. Well, if we aim it right, it might be possible. I think it it might barely be possible. Let's see. Yeah. What is ha what? what? <laughs> Smash. What? <laughs> it's aimed at it. It's aimed right at it. <laughs> what is happening? What in the world is happening? Terra smash. So it has to be in order. If not, we'll just go fight a bunch of enemies and get it instated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, you can do it. Four seconds, it's gonna disappear. <laughs> it's gonna disappear now. It's timed directly, so we can't do, do it like that. Okay, let's go find some enemies. You forced my hand. There's a quest over here. <gasps> Please, no! <laughs> We're so close to Liu Harbor. Man, like, sometimes, like, again, I, like I said, I wouldn't promise that we're going to get to Liu Harbor because I feel like that's always a bad idea. If only I could eat again. It was so good. You what again? Oh, traveler, when I was young, I used to travel all over the place. What I loved about traveling was getting to try all these different foods. 
After eating my way across the continent, I returned to Liu. An opponent, uh, I opened my restaurant, Emerald Maple, in the hopes I could recreate, recreate the flavors of my travels. But there's one dish I never quite remember the name of. Just how we could recreate the flavor. I get it. All I remember is that it was a sweet fragrant dish. The sheer look of it was enough to be drooled in the mouth. At the top of it all off, it was nutritious too. The ingredients are a lot of fowl and some sweet flowers called Sweetened Mistress or something like that. If you have to make it for me, I'd be so grateful. Traveler, over to you. Do we have it? Here you go. Oh, it is this. Sweet Madame. That's the one I remember. Thank you so much. Please take this for your trouble, Traveler. What a... T that was a tough quest. Bluffy's like, ah, I don't know if I could live with him anymore. All he does is... All he does is give up quests that are really easy to people. <laughs> He's like, if someone finds my mustache, <laughs> I'll give you a prize. <laughs> if someone finds my mustache, you'll get $20. God, Grandpa. Grandpa, you... Those quests are really easy and everyone's starting to notice. Mm, no, these quests are very difficult indeed. Oh, you're supposed to find enemies. What am I doing? I actually know where there might be enemies. It's okay. Man, I love this game so much. Um, Very much like a very easy uh, game to just play, you know? Very comforting game. Very comforting game. It's a very comforting game. It's very fun. Dopamine rush. Let's go. Ah, if it isn't Wonder, I'm not an enemy. If it isn't his stupid baby gangster team. <laughs> Terror smash. Compared to before, without Nahida. Yeah, without Nadia, it's Nahida. Oh, oh. Yeah, Nahida. I was pronouncing the Nadia this whole time, just saying. Yeah, we know. We can't all be idiots like you, though, Gregory. Gregory? Who the heck? My name is Tony. Tony, Gregory, Calvin only uses two names when he's making up NPCs. Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs> Don't leave us. <laughs> Please. This is all we did all day. Slay him. Let's bounce. Meet my ski. It's Christmas time. In Mitz Miski. Okay, so we can do it like this now? Quick! Look at that. Liu Harbor. So far away. We won't get there today. Oh, Jesus, guys. There's no way we're getting to Liu Harbor today. Are you kidding me? Look at this. There's so much I gotta do. The map is calling to me. Upgrade our adventure rank as well. Like, I'm sorry. Like, like, like I will never rush this game. And there's so much to do around Leo Harbor before we get to Leo Harbor. But honestly, I think I think getting to Leo Harbor would help us explore a little bit. What you guys think? Like if we get to Leo Harbor, then it would change up our stuff. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, that might be a good idea. Because I think it will help us explore. If we if we just talk to Catherine in Liu Harbor, we'll be able to, like, they'll put commissions around here. So we'll be ex able to explore a bit more. I think that's a good idea, actually, Calvin. Well done. Thank you, Calvin. No problem, Calvin. You're so smart. I know. She, she'd see. A shoesy. Hello, can I just see you in lovely? You know what? Scrap that. If there's something you want, let me know. Are you waiting for a car? Tell me about your shop. Well, for starters, this whole area is there's very little traffic, and I don't sell a lot, but that doesn't bother me. In fact, I researched Hybrid Age long ago, and the only reason I'm still here is that I'm waiting for someone. I've only waited most of my life, so what difference does it make uh, in a few more days back? Though I'll probably be dead and buried by the time the fool comes to his senses. <laughs> She's talking about, um, Kaya. Camera smash! I meant to do that. <laughs> look at this lit up area over here, look. Let's light it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Bennett. Now that's what I call treasure. Gay man. Yes, this is a spot. The first Grandmaster stood here and narrowed his eye into a cold stare, which he fixed firmly on the vile dragon before him. What are you doing? I'm a novelist, doing some uh, research for my latest work. I originally came to Liu looking for the author of A Legend of Sword, but then I happened to c across some works and on the rise and fall of uh, the Gua clan. I thought, what a great topic to write about, so I've decided I'm going to kickstart my writing career in swashbuckling Gua masterpiece. Chapter 1, open with the Grandmaster fighting the dragon. Did you know that there was a very spot where he was standing? So tell me about the, the Gua clan. Well, it was once a flourishing organization in Liu. Back then, they were even called the Gua Brothers. Brotherhood. But now there are few, if any, who call themselves the Gua Disciples. I bought a batch of swords from someone who claimed to be a Gua Disciple some days back, but he claimed there were clans hidden treasures. But the boss of the smithy informed me that two years later, they were just some run-of-the-mill weapons. I don't think that there's a charlatans... I don't think didn't think the charlatans from Liu could be so deceitful. Well, these swords are burned to me as is, so why don't you take them out of sight, as they say. So they actually pr maybe it's a bunch of level 1 swords. Yes, so we can, I guess we can use them for like leveling. Oh my god, that's a very pretty pond. Actually, I probably shouldn't step on it. I was going to jump on the top of the rock. It looks very like spiritual. Not a good idea. Holy hell. So pretty. <laughs> Catherine, I'm coming. Oh my lord. Holy hell. And there's a ship. Oh my god. Can we go on the ship? Jesus Christ, that's not right. And we enter and over a bridge like that. They knew I love bridges. They patched the game recently because they knew I like bridges. They know I love a good bridge. <sighs> oh, it's actually gorgeous. You know, we'll come here next time. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh my lord! I thought. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Don't ruin the moment. Wait, main character style, let's go. Welcome to Liu. Please declare any commercial goods you may be carrying. Tell me about Liu. Liu is the largest trading port in all the Seven Nations. Merchants gather here from all over Teyvat. Making it a uh, port city with a booming business. Liu already has a thousand years of history developing under leadership of Rex Lapis. More of the common currency, the trade for all Teyvat, was originally dubbed by the legendary Rex Lapis, who had himself originally known as Morax. The coins are now minted in Liu's uh, very own golden house. Did you all come to Liu in for the search of fortune? Well, good luck. Welcome to Liu. How may the military be of service to you today? Have you seen someone who looks like me? That's a good question. This is a difficult question to answer. It's not that I'm lazy and don't deserve people who come and go, but 
Lee Harbor is the most prosperous city among the seven nations. There are just too many people who move to and from it every day. It is impossible to remember them all. I'll help you keep a lookout, but don't get your hopes too high. Very nice question. Very helpful in its own right. Look, this is so beautiful. This is not right. I don't deserve this. This is free. This game was free. This game was free. Shut up up there. I'm trying to do my work. Oh my god, look at the outfits as well. Hello. It reminds me of uh, Shenmue. Which would make sense because I guess Shenmue 2 and 3 do play take place in China. He's a peddler. What do you think of my wares, friend? Rare things to see on dry lands. This is, has to be a reference as well. Got anything good? Everlast uh, keepsake is from a voyage across the oceans. Genuine good is honest price. By the way, in the in the best way possible, I think it's a it's a it's a reference. And I'm not saying it in a bad way. I think that's such a good uh, like, I I there's no way that they weren't. Like by the way, this is influenced but not by Shenmue. This is influenced by culture in China. I'm not saying it's influenced by Shenmue, um, at all. I'm just saying that, like, it reminds me of that, because that's the only game I really played where I was in China. Maybe, maybe apart from Sleeping Dogs, but, like, in this era, I guess, of, of China. What, do you have a mission? Traveler, hold on a second. I know it's a bit sudden, but do you have any interest in cameras? Sure, a little. Cameras? <laughs> cameras, no ordinary gear. Camera is used... Oh, it's ca camera. Camera? It's used the latest technology from Fontaine. The photos printed by a model all come here with unique effect. Not offered by standard cameras. Cameras. <laughs> For real? Hey, I'm telling the absolute truth here. If you don't believe me, you can ask about it at the Adventures Guild. I was skeptical at first, I play, uh, too. I played around with it for ages, but I couldn't get it working. Eventually, one of the Adventures Guild gave me a hand. Now, you must be wondering, what makes cameras so different? Well, it's to do with the internal design. It takes a certain kind of potion uh, that adds a special effect during the printing process, making the photos look much better than the printed uh, by your average camera. What do you think? If you're interested, I can let you play around with this one for a while. There's a limited variety of potions, but enough for you to get a feel for how it works. I plan to make a trip to Fontaine at some point and purchase some new varieties of potions. So if you're interested, I hope you have a cost of that. How much do they cost? Don't worry about that side of things. They're already very cheap. When purchased individually, if you plan on buying in bulk, we can discuss the discounts. Please keep this camera as a token of my esteem. If you enjoy using it, I appreciate your business in the future. Hold L1. To open your gadgets menu? Special camera. So does that make the count? Yeah, okay, cool. Who are these two? Hold on a second. Cutscene. I'm Charlotte. I never thought she'd see you two together. Who is that? Who is that? Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Uh, did I meet this character before? If I did, I'm going to feel so embarrassed. The Ewing of Liu Xing. She's a diligent, extremely capable worker. Though once dismissed with the god, she became deeply aware of how Rex Lapis had labored on behalf of the nation over millennia uh, as she became more involved in its affairs. I would definitely like to read more on Rex Lapis, for sure. Perhaps because she aspires to be a role model for the people, she always has the highest standards for herself, working harder than most. At the time, she cannot abide by any idleness uh, and oh, inefficiency. We're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle Amazing of the character design. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. Charlotte, lens of ver ver verity, a keen sense of news, a reporter from the sorry, a, a reporter from the Steambird, a renowned newspaper in Fontaine. Charlotte has an enthusiastic nature and a keen sense of news. Traveling across the streets of Fontaine, she captured the truth of the multitude of matters with her trusty camera. Her lifelong endeavor to publish authentic and breaking exclusive scoops in her pursuit of the truth, she is willing to go beyond the norm, even at the risk of her own safety. She is also well aware of the storms that will be triggered upon the revelations of truth. But despite all this, neither the toil. Of the job itself, nor the pressure of external uh, denunciations and threats have ever phased Charlotte in the slightest. Okay. Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? This is so cool. We haven't got a cutscene in a while. Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. Oh, so that's why oh. I've seen so many floating in the sky. <laughs> really cool. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue Qixing. to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve really cool to that we met these characters here. own jade. So, Ningguang organized a private meeting Ningguan. with Miss Charlotte to Qixing. ask for her help in fostering cooperation with the right people. Boots are awesome as well, Charlotte. You're well dressed. In the end, 
we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much Beautiful. on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower Madaka out of water. Madaka. Experience doesn't matter at that point. I'm saying the words so I can remember them. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans after Liyue. all. <laughs> it's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. That's not a bad idea. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Cool! Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm... Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. I suppose it's like a cultural thing that becomes a plaything. That happens to a lot of stuff. But to me, there's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. That's a really nice way of looking at it, isn't it? O kite born of paper, flying true and sound. A lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. I'm wonder. Send them love, send them words, send them homeward, the bound. Past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the Kuching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Kuching? Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned Kuching. quite a bit myself. <laughs> I can't get over how good that design is. To listen, I'm happy it's to very, share. very beautiful what she said, and it's actually like really, like, like how well they like uh, in introduce characters in this game. You know, should be noted. Like already, we have such a feel for who she is. Same with the Charlotte as well. Quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. Yep. Like yeah, they said she's very dutiful. She seems that way. The same with Charlotte seems very like excited about this whole story as well. For example. Whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. What about something... more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun... Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. 
are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Yeah, look, 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 look again, look, a uh, very good um, character mm. placement here. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly cool. very cool. typically symbolize very, very freedom, cool. happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. I would you. like them too. <laughs> I would like them too. Like, it's so cool. I was so, like, instantly, they did this with Mondstadt in a way too. Like, how instantly, like, the culture of this place is so apparent and how important it is to them, you know? That would be a huge help. She's, she's very excited. Great. Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. Oh, Paimon's thinking. Hope it goes well. Hey, we're gonna take a look around. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Ah, I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Right. So this is the Lantern Right thing, right? If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. Wait, is this what people- I- ugh. Oh. Is this what people were talking about with the lantern right thing? Like, I, I I don't think I could have avoided this. Like, was I supposed to meet these characters in, a, in an admission before this? Was that was what's supposed to happen? I've already prepared more than enough. Because they acted like they knew me. I can see the spectacle already. Who will oh, be there, I guess. On board the moment you said secret prize. Like, is that what happened here? Because <laughs> that's pretty funny. Then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. Like I, I think I, th I think that's what people were saying. Cause some people were saying that like you, you're supposed to meet these. There's gonna be a spoiler of characters. Was I supposed to meet these characters beforehand? Like they're great characters, great way to characterize them. We knew Wait, a lot about them just from that conversation there. Do you see those two people? That's what she was looking at. Okay, I was wondering. She was like kind of thinking about something, wasn't she? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm. Could... They seem fishy. Fishy. Hey, you be you. So it wasn't just Paimon. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Right. Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil their plans before they even begin. You go right, Paimon will go left. Wait, Paimon, yeah, exactly, wait. So, Vibrant Hair, okay, is that the actual Archon quest or the Acon quest then? Um, okay, hold on a second there, let's actually check the quest. So like, by the way, I really enjoyed, no, it's just a story quest, is it? Yeah, it's a story quest. I really loved meeting these characters. Like, I really enjoyed the heck out of meeting those characters. But I wonder if we were supposed to meet those characters earlier, just the way they, they, they acted like they knew us. I never met those, yo, I would remember Charlotte, you know what I mean? There's a chance if I remember forget catching as a character, but like Charlotte's like a very distinguished like a distinguishable character. So I wonder like was I supposed to meet her way beforehand? That could be the case. Okay, then I guess what we'll do in the next one is go talk to uh, Catherine. You guys can probably tell me about this because we'll have a week until the next episode. Uh, not in a week. It's gonna be next Thursday. But what's crazy is like I, I probably was supposed to meet those characters beforehand. Like again, this wasn't me trying to like spoil myself or anything. Like. Of course I was going to walk this way into Liyue Harbor. This is where we have to go next, right? This is the next mission, the next area to go into. Um, but I don't think it spoiled anything for me. I think they still give a very good character introduction to those two characters. Maybe it did. Maybe you guys know something different. Regardless of that, that's going to be the end for the video today. Uh, and let's get to a safe place where people won't be scared. Maybe over here. Oh, look at this. Look at a little platform. And let's let Bennett send us off. Bennett, you're a doofus, I love you. You forgot about the patrons. Let's go. To, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That happens sometimes. Sometimes I forget to do it. Uh, but actually, I haven't forgotten once, really. Uh, Ty Fire 2 JB Bull, Janet Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, and Poker Girl. Now, you may send us off, buddy.